Well, we didn't think this was gonna happen anytime soon, but we're going to look at a boat. Show me your excited face. No. Okay, show me yours. Okay. All right, we're gonna go look at a boat. Now, of course, we're going to be practicing social distancing. Um, I'm, I'm sure um, we're just gonna meet with one person with the broker and I'm hoping that he gives us some time to look at the boat, um, you know, kind of by ourselves. And, cause you know, boats are small space, so it's kind of hard to be social distancing when you're um, in a small space. We were an average family, struggling with debt and yearning for freedom and adventure. Now we live full time in our RV and we share our adventures with the world. We've got a big dream of purchasing a liveaboard sailboat and expanding our adventures to the water. Welcome to our channel, Salty Escape. Let's change our story, let's change our life. We'll do it our way, our own design. We are driving uh, to look at a Lagoon 410 that is in Wilmington, uh, North Carolina. I think this boat's gonna show like a new boat. It's been completely redone. It's one of these circumstances where the person bought it and then spent an outrageous amount of money outfitting it and then... Um, Making it look nice. We, we yeah. were told they spent a, um, a significant amount of money having the whole thing uh, repainted, re-all-gripped. Uh, um, just... It's going to look amazing and that's going to be a problem for us going forward because it will probably set the bar for all boats that we look at from this point on. That's a problem. Yeah, so in the ad it says that they were spending time, uh, money, effort, outfitting it for long-term offshore cruising. And then they put in their, their specific words were, circumstances have changed. And this was posted before the coronavirus outbreak. Well, the reason we're looking at it today, we actually had asked to see this boat, how long ago was that? Like Three or four weeks, maybe. Yeah, about a month ago. Um, and unfortunately, it had gone into contract, but we understand that it has already gone through the full survey with the people who are going to buy it. Uh, and the survey was done like right about the time that all this started breaking out with the coronavirus. And now the buyers have backed out uh, because of the coronavirus. Um, so. so in all honesty, um, the other thing that happened yesterday, so we talked to the broker and we're gonna go look at this boat, obviously, like we said, um, and then after that conversation occurred, uh, it was announced that North Carolina, this is Wilmington, North Carolina, that we're going to look at this boat is, um, going to be in a shelter in place order effective Monday. Well, today's Saturday. So of course we cannot buy this boat between now and Monday. That is crazy to think of and not gonna happen. So we have a distinctive advantage here because we're gonna go look at this boat and then all of a sudden they're gonna be in a complete lockdown situation where nobody's coming to look at this boat. So, I mean, it's, it's probably a bad time to be a seller of a boat. But that's why we're kind of excited to go look because this boat is going to be very nice. I have a feeling it's going to be very, very nice. And it's one of the models that we're interested in. We're looking at around 40 feet catamaran, um, four cabin, two head, and this checks off the boxes. And the two heads have their own separate showers. And that's another box I'd like to check. cameras but everyone knows I'm not good at filming I'm terrible so when you give me a camera you get things like a sink for 10 minutes and you know just random nonsense Corey brought our big nice camera and then we brought another camera we gave to Ella but I messed it up tell them what you did Corey I apparently had a setting wrong on my nice camera and everybody looks like Smurfs they're blue. Yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, our little ham of a nine-year-old who loves to shoot video took video on this camera that I'm holding right now, our Osmo Action. She took it all around and filmed the whole boat in detail on her own. It's hysterical. So we do have video to share of the boat, 
Um, but most of it's not from our perspective. Most of it's from the perspective of, of a nine-year-old. So this will be entertaining. And it's all because he messed up. boat so far. I have checked out everything. My favorite part about this boat are the trampolines. Oh, I at least know I have some. Yeah. Is this going to get headless? Yeah. Yay, so I can hang on my phone. Yeah, he's been in here. So that is the Lagoon 410, mm -hmm. and uh, this is a 2001, right? It's a 2001. Uh, positives are it's had a lot done. Uh, standing rigging and running rigging, which if you know about sailboats, that's expensive items to be replaced. Uh, the canvas is newer, although I will say it looks like maybe it will be close to needing replaced again. I'm not sure. Yeah, sounds um, good. It? it just looks like it's been faded. Um, there's lots of new. It's had the sides painted, like I said, which is a cosmetic upgrade. Um, it has very low hours on the engine. Uh, it's never been chartered. So this is March 28th, um, 2020, and the coronavirus, by all accounts, is just just barely getting started, and the economic fallout has already been pretty huge. So I feel like it would be very irresponsible for us to come in and try to buy a boat quickly, even if we could. Um, the, by all logic, the boat prices are going to drop. They're going to come down. So um, it's best for us to, to wait it out. But we're really happy that we got to look at this boat because this, yeah. this definitely is on our list. And yeah. maybe this exact boat will be the one we purchase. But we have a couple others on our list that we're going to try to work out. Why can't we buy the boat right now? Because North Carolina is being locked down and the boat is in North Carolina. So the boat is maybe an hour and a half away from us. Yep and reasonable driving distance that worked out to our favor but today is saturday and on monday there is a shelter in place and to make matters worse we're hearing news reports that um, state uh, boundaries are being policed and people are being told to stay away it's, so far that's more from like new york new jersey coming down um, i don't know that south carolina going up would be restricted but um, yeah. we saw some evidence we saw some road crews with uh, big signs look like they were staged ready to be put out that that the border might be closed yeah well and the the reason for that is to north myrtle beach myrtle beach in ori county which is where we live um they have closed to tourism so they have yep. closed all rentals all rv parks all airbnbs anything that's not long term is now closed as of tomorrow so i think they're going to get ready to block the roads so our concern with everything we just don't 
I don't think it's feasible to buy this boat at this point in time. Now, who's going to be able to buy this boat right now? Nobody. Nobody is going to be able to because you can't go look at it with everything happening. Yep. But, you know, it's it's one it was a boat that's like on the top of our list as possibilities. Yep. We want to see a leopard a Leopard 40. 40. It's a Leopard 40. They have one uh, for sale up in North Carolina. It's about two and a half hours from us. So it just, right now, it's not going to be feasible to go look at it. So we're going to have to wait for everything to calm down. And yeah. then hopefully everything will calm down. We'll be able to get up there and see it and if it hasn't sold. Uh, but right now, I kind of get the feeling that things maybe won't be selling so much. It's just it's just a very stressful time. But that's why we also think it might be a good time for us. But We'll see. Yeah, hopefully this is going to work out for us. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, Ella is definitely making her debut as a star uh, videographer. Yeah. And um, <laughs> if you it. if you enjoyed uh, Ella's work, give us a thumbs up. We would really appreciate she would that. Love it. She would love it. Oh she my would goodness. Love it because we told her we're going to have to use pretty much all her video. She was yeah. very excited. Yeah. But we did like the Lagoon 410. It is probably up in the top top of our list as being yeah. the potential if it's not this boat another lagoon 410 um yeah for sure yeah 